You've got to hear this story. It's an amazing story. The amazing Gary Groves. Books have been written about this and you're doing it. I booked my Dallas gig. A year on the road without knowing what's going to happen. Hmm. back in New Orleans. I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks to film the pilot that I booked. And from here, I'm gonna go to Florida because my parents are visiting my aunt and uncle. So I'm gonna go join them. And then from there, I'm gonna head back on the road. And I booked my Dallas gig. The callback that I had in Dallas, I booked it. It's a short film. It's called Almost Married. I'm really excited to be a part of it. And we're filming that in October. So from Florida, I'm gonna go to Vegas for about a month, try to see if I can book something in Vegas before I have to go back to Dallas and film the gig that I booked. So that's the plan right now. A lot of really exciting things. Right now I'm going to an acting class. I'm waiting for my friend Dave to come pick me up. The teacher is the famous Gary Grubbs. So I'm really excited to meet him and to take his class. So I just finished class with the amazing Gary Grubbs. Thank you so much for having me in your class. Oh, you're very welcome. You did great. It was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck on your trip to Hollywood. Thank you so much. And these are all the amazing, talented actors that were in class with me. Thank you guys so much. I had such a great time with you. You rocked it. Yay. <laughs> you guys rocked it. You guys were amazing. And thank you, Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey. For bringing me to class. You're a rock star. Oh my god. 100%. You guys rock, rock You guys rocked it. <laughs> my friend Keith Keller on Twitter has been a really big fan of my journey. He's always really encouraging. He's working on an internet show. He just invited me to be on his show. Hey guys, it's Keith Keller in Melbourne, Australia. I've got a special edition of Be Seen, Be Real. You've got to hear this story. It's an amazing story. This person is probably the most authentic person I have ever met. The good, the bad, and the ugly. You've got to watch her videos. They're unbelievable. The tears, the lonely nights. I've been on the road for a year already. A lot of ups and downs emotionally. It gets really, really hard. Like you said, the lonely nights, but also the amazing stuff that just happens to you along the way. Constant, random, kindness people just hear the story and they like the fact that i took a leap of faith and they're like let me help what can i do to help sometimes i'm just shocked at how nice people can be to somebody that they don't even know you're bringing it out you're allowing people to help you know we want to help we want to be nice people want to help but they're afraid but when you allow yourself to be vulnerable they're not intimidated it's like a case study in reality i mean books have been written about this <laughs> Books have been written about this and you're doing it. The fact that you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable makes people relate to you. Because everybody feels sad, everybody feels scared, everybody feels confused and they're not sure what to do next with their life. Who does anybody really know? No, nobody really knows. I had a 90 year old telling me, don't listen to what anybody else said because nobody really knows anything anyway. We're all just figuring it out as we go. So the fact that you're saying this on the internet makes people feel better because they feel like they're not alone with their feelings. And that really makes me feel like, all right, what I'm doing is actually worth it because I'm touching other people. And yeah. isn't that what we all want to be able to relate to each other, to one another? Really, you, you, on your down days, you have to keep going. You are, you are like an inspiration to us. Oh. Thank you. I do, I do feel like my journey has been mostly about collaboration. The fact that I'm collaborating with so many people across the country has given me the straight to go on, seriously. See you in 10 years' time winning an Oscar, winning an Emmy. That would be lovely. <laughs> and, and, we, and we can look back and say that it's all because you had the courage to sleep in the bus stop at Atlanta. Yeah. You know, to get, go on camera and, and cry because you couldn't find a place to stay. Yeah. And the elation of getting drunk at a bar in New Orleans and winning a hundred bucks at the casino. Yeah. You know, and everything in between. And everything in between. Thank you all for watching. My name is Maytal Angel and this is my road to Hollywood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to continue following this crazy adventure and find out if I do actually make it to Hollywood. And if you'd like to help me get there, you can always make a contribution by clicking the link in the description.